of years ago, I put together a video featuring all of the backpacking food I brought with me for an eight day backpacking trip, which was one of my solo section hikes along the PCT here in Washington from Rainy Pass to the Northern Terminus and then back. You guys seem to really enjoy that video because it's now been watched over 500,000 times. Then a year later, I put together a whole video series featuring backpacking food you can get at the grocery store, cheap and easy backpacking meal options for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even some of my favorite backpacking and hiking snacks from Trader Joe's. You guys really seem to enjoy the grocery store backpacking food video series, especially the cheap and easy dinner ideas video because it now has over 700,000 views. So for this video, I decided to put together an updated grocery store backpacking food video and feature some of my new favorite cheap and easy backpacking meal ideas and even a couple of my classic favorites which have some new additions that you can put together from the grocery store for your next backpacking trip. I'll show you a few breakfast options as well as a few lunch and dinner options. I'll share with you how many calories there are per serving and what the price per serving is for each meal. I'll also show you how I make each of these meals and how you can cook them in either a freezer Ziploc bag and other reusable food storage containers without having to dirty your backpacking pot when out on trail. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, solo long distance backpacker, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. And this is the place to be to learn about backpacking, get backpacking food ideas, and tips on how you can plan your next backpacking trip. I help women all over the country go from feeling scared and intimidated about backpacking to feeling comfortable with planning their own trips so that they can feel confident getting out on trail by themselves through my online backpacking program for women, the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System. Click the link in the video description box below to learn more about this program I put together and maybe we can work together to help you achieve your backpacking goals this year. Okay, so let's chat about some of my new favorite cheap and easy backpacking meal ideas you can get at the grocery store for your next backpacking trip. You can never go wrong with having rolled oats or some type of oatmeal for breakfast. Usually, I don't like to cook breakfast when I'm out on trail because I'd rather pack up camp and get started hiking for the day instead of pulling out my stove and waiting for my first meal of the day to cook. If I do want to take the time to cook breakfast, breakfast rolled oats is a hearty and easy option. At home, I put together my breakfast rolled oats dry mixture featuring a half a cup of rolled oats, two tablespoons of a mix of hemp hearts, chia seeds, and flax seed, a fourth a cup of chopped almonds, and I can also throw in some freeze-dried fruit and even a couple sugar packets to sweeten it up. In a separate container, I'll add powdered dry milk to be added to my oats after I've rehydrated them. To make this one out on trail, I'll start by boiling one cup of water. Then I'll add the boiling water to my rolled oats mixture. I'll give it a little stir and then add it to my backpacking food cozy and let it sit for 10 minutes. While the oats are rehydrating, I'll mix together some water and powdered dry milk to make the milk for my oats. Once my oats have rehydrated, I'll add the powdered dry milk mix and stir everything together and then enjoy. For more calories and a creamier texture, you can also add either peanut butter or almond butter packet to the rolled oats mixture after rehydrating. This one comes in at 640 calories per serving and costs less than $2 per serving to make. Not too shabby. Another cheap and easy breakfast option is one you don't even have to cook. The chocolate peanut butter shake is a quick, cheap, and easy recipe I discovered through the Backcountry Foodie. If you're like me and find that you're not super hungry when you wake up in the morning when out on trail, there's always the option to drink the calories you need to get you going. And the best part about this option is that there's no cooking required. Before getting out on trail, put together one packet of the Carnation Breakfast Essentials drink mix in the chocolate flavor, a half a cup of dry powdered whole milk, and one fourth a cup of peanut powder. When you're ready to drink this one, simply add one cup of water to the powdered mix, shake, and then enjoy. You can even drink this one while you're hiking, making it even more convenient. The chocolate peanut butter shake comes to 550 calories per serving and costs a little over $2 per serving to make. The breakfast berry cobbler is also another recipe I discovered thanks to the backcountry foodie. It's delicious and super easy to make. You can even turn this one into a backpacking dessert if you wanted to. At home, I put together all of the dry ingredients in a Ziploc freezer bag or some other reusable container I can use to cook the meal in. The dry ingredients include a half a cup of freeze dried berries, which ends up being one whole bag of freeze dried fruit you can find at the grocery store, a half a cup of granola, two tablespoons of chopped pecans, 
a teaspoon of a mix of hemp hearts, chia seeds, and flax seed, and one sugar packet. In a separate container, I'll pack one tablespoon of coconut oil. For the coconut oil, you can either find single serving packets online at Amazon or make your own by using small mini self-locking plastic bags, which you can also get from Amazon, and adding one tablespoon of coconut oil to each bag and then seal them up to bring with you out on trail. I recommend double bagging the coconut oil in case they leak inside your food storage container or bag. To make this one out on trail, boil half a cup of water and then add both the boiling water and the single serving coconut oil packet to the dry berry mixture. Give it a stir and then add this to your backpacking food cozy and let it rehydrate for 10 minutes. Once the berries have rehydrated, give this one another stir and then enjoy. The breakfast berry cobbler comes in at 575 calories per serving and costs $5.21 per serving to make. Moving on to the lunch and dinner cheap and easy backpacking meal options. One of my all time favorite backpacking meals is having cheese, crackers, and salami together, which is also considered a no cook option. This means I don't have to pull out my backpacking stove for this one. The only preparation required for this meal is cutting the cheese and salami, unless you opted for the precise salami at the store. No cook options are perfect if you're looking to have a quick meal that doesn't require any fuel or water. I typically go for a peppered salami, but you can choose any type of shelf-stable meat. Shelf-stable meat doesn't require any refrigeration and can last for a few days out on trail as long as you keep it out of direct sunlight and in a cool, dry place deep within your pack in your food storage bag or container. I get a lot of questions about how I'm able to bring cheese out with me on trail safely. Yes, cheese typically needs to stay refrigerated, but just like with shelf stable meat, if you can keep your cheese out of direct sunlight and in a cool dry place deep within your pack in your food storage bag or container, your cheese can last for a couple of days without refrigeration. Since this tends to always be my favorite meal when I'm backpacking, the cheese and salami in my pack never seem to last in my food bag or container very long because it's one of the first things I eat when I'm out on trail. Also, choose your cheese wisely. If you're backpacking in warm weather or the summer months, choose a hard cheese and try to keep it stored in its original packaging until you're ready to eat it. If you're backpacking during the winter or in cooler, colder weather, you can go for a softer cheese like a brie because it will last much longer than if you were in warm weather. Depending on the type of cheese you get, this meal can come out to 330 calories per serving and cost $2.31 per serving to put together. The barbecue mac and cheese recipe is probably one of my most favorite of all the grocery store backpacking meals featured in this video. Not only is it cheap and easy to make, but it's also really tasty. To make this one out on trail, start by boiling one cup of water, add the boiling water to half a cup of shell noodles, give the noodles a stir and let it rehydrate for five to 10 minutes. Once the noodles are done rehydrating, drain any extra water. Then add the cheese sauce, a whole pouch of pulled pork, and a packet of barbecue sauce. Stir together and for some extra flavor and crunch, add a few crispy dillies, which are fried cucumbers on top. The barbecue mac and cheese comes to 776 calories per serving and costs $2.75 per serving to make. If you've seen some of my previous backpacking food recipe videos, you might have noticed that the one pot Thanksgiving dinner isn't a new cheap and easy grocery store backpacking meal featured on this channel. It's a classic favorite, but with some new additions. To make this one, start at home by adding the following dry ingredients in either a freezer Ziploc bag or some type of reusable food container that can withstand boiling water, instant mashed potatoes, and stovetop stuffing. When you're ready to make this one out on trail, boil one and a half cups of water and add to the dry potato and stuffing mixture. Stir and then add this to your backpacking food cozy and let it rehydrate for five to 10 minutes. Once rehydrated, add the chicken pouch, fried onions, stir, and then serve. Feel free to add more fried onions on top for some extra crunch. This one pot Thanksgiving dinner comes to 672 calories per serving and costs a little over $4 per serving to make. The cheesy chicken casserole is the most expensive backpacking meal featured in this video, but it has the most base options when putting this one together. What makes this one so pricey is that you have to use a whole bag of the dried broccoli bites for one serving and the dried broccoli bites can be a bit pricey. 
For a less expensive option, you can always dehydrate broccoli at home to add to this recipe, but that will take more time when preparing to put this one together for the trail, and you might not have access to a food dehydrator. You can either use stovetop stuffing, instant rice, or couscous as a base for this one. I decided to go with couscous. To make the cheesy chicken casserole, start by boiling one cup of water. Then add either the stuffing, instant rice, or couscous as your base, and the dried broccoli to the boiling water in a freezer Ziploc bag or some type of reusable food container that can withstand boiling water. Stir all the ingredients together and then add this to your backpacking food cozy and let it rehydrate for five to 10 minutes. Once rehydrated, add the cheese sauce packet, chicken pouch, and fried onions and stir. For extra flavor and crunch on top, you can add either crushed crackers or chips. The cheesy chicken casserole meal comes to 839 calories per serving and can cost between $4.76 and $8.13 per serving, depending on which base and broccoli option you use for this one. And finally, if you're sick of eating ramen out on trail, backcountry pad thai is a cheap and easy way to mix up normal, boring ramen noodles and turn them into a tasty, calorie-heavy option. This is the highest calorie option out of all of the backpacking meals featured in this video. First start by boiling one and a half cups of water. Add ramen noodles and boiling water into a freezer Ziploc bag or some type of reusable bag container that can withstand boiling water like this Seenock Outdoors Buck food bag. And then add to your backpacking food cozy and let it rehydrate for five to 10 minutes. Once the noodles have rehydrated, drain the water from the food bag and then add the ramen seasoning packet, a small olive oil packet, a small peanut butter packet, a small soy sauce packet, a small honey packet, a chicken pouch, and crushed peanuts. Mix all of these ingredients together and then enjoy. For more nutritional value and an added cost, you can also add dried vegetables like dried broccoli bites or any other dried vegetables you might find at the grocery store when cooking the ramen noodles. Backcountry Pad Thai comes to 945 calories per serving and costs $3.46 per serving to make. Here are a few pro tips to help make your backpacking meals out on trail cheap and easy. First, instead of buying the expensive freeze-dried meals at an outdoor retailer, visit your local grocery store to get some ideas for backpacking meals you can put together for your next trip. Not only is the food at the grocery store less expensive and much more budget-friendly, but shopping at a grocery store for backpacking food is really convenient. You're more likely to have a grocery store nearby than an outdoor retailer. Secondly, you can easily add more crunch, calories, and flavor to any of your grocery store backpacking meals by adding toppings like crispy dillies, which are fried cucumbers, crispy fried onions, chopped nuts, and even bacon bits. Also, next time you're at a restaurant getting takeout or ordering fast food or coffee, take a look at the condiments area. Keep all of those salt and pepper, sugar, and sauce packets. I like collecting condiments packets like soy sauce, barbecue sauce, hoisin sauce, hot sauce, salt and pepper, sugar, and honey packets, and then add them to my backpacking food bin. This way, when I go to put together backpacking meals for an upcoming trip, I have smaller versions of various condiments and seasonings already conveniently packed up and ready to be used when out on trail. And they're free. Planning an upcoming backpacking trip and need help figuring out what to pack for your trip? Make sure you download my free The Hungry Hiker Backpacking Gear Packing List by either clicking the link up here or down in the video description box below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for new videos every week and hit the bell icon to get notified every time new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy trails and keep on trekking.